Right, so behind me here, I've got a uh, Golf GTI Performance, and inside is the owner of that car, it's Corin uh, from Wales. He's come away from Wales today uh, to sell his car. He's gone on my platform at Reg. He's a private seller, and he's turned up today. He's booked himself an appointment to sell the car, but this car is categorised, right? It is a salvage car, but me is. Listen to that. I recognise the sound of that car. What is that car? I can't think what it is. I know what it is. But yeah, me as a car dealer, obviously I've recently announced that we're going to be doing a virtual online car dealership designed for YouTube. We're calling it the YouTube car dealership. We can't actually call it that because that would be sort of infringing with copyright laws. Uh, so we're going to call it Calvin's car dealership. What a great name, CCD, all right? So we need stock for this car dealership. I recently bought an Audi TT, a 3.2 litre V6, low mileage car with one owner, proper nice thing. Go and check the previous video out if you want to see more on that. Uh, but I need more stock. And Cora's just arrived. With this Golf GTI performance, it is categorised, but I think the motive needs to be, one, trying to get a deal done, two, trying to get um, find as many faults with it as possible so we can get it for a reasonable price, and three, testing or seeing if we can make a profit out of a salvage categorised car. Let's go and meet Corin. Right, Corin, good to meet you, man. Little fist tongue there. <laughs> so you've come all the way from where? Wales, South where, Wales. South Wales? Yeah, yeah. Whereabouts, what's the name of the area? Like Rhonda, so I'm like not far from Cardiff. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So you've come all the way from Wales today. How many miles is that, or how long in, in time was that? Just shy of three hours. Three hours driving, yeah? yeah. yeah? And you popped down today to sell uh, your Golf GTI. Yeah, yeah. So you've obviously, I'm guessing you've been on Enter Edge, you've yeah. tried to sell your car, mm. you've been linked to one of our buyers, Hayden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was talking to him through WhatsApp. Okay. And then obviously booked an appointment for you this morning. And, and you booked an appointment to come down here today? Yeah. The car's got a little bit more damage on it than we kind of expected, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long you had the car for? About six, seven months. Six, seven months, yeah? yeah. So you've had it quite a while then. Yeah. Um, it's categorised, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have just done a car vertical check on it and it's yeah. showing, yes, it's damaged. Is it Cat N or is it Cat D? Cat D it is. Cat D, yeah. it does say that on the car vertical check. Yeah. Okay. Um, and do you know where it was, so it wasn't damaged in the time that you had it? No, no, previous owner. Okay, and um, do you know where it was damaged? So I've had a good look over it. You can see it's had bits of paint here and there. Yeah, I'm assuming it's front end damage, yeah. It looks like it's front end. It's still got, it's got a little bit of a crack on the front bumper there as well still. So it just needs a bit, bit of love. And you yeah. said that it's been on air ride as yeah, well. Yeah, so previous owner was on air ride, yeah. So previous yeah. to when you had it. Yeah. And you can see it's got a bit of damage on both front wings as well, isn't it? Yeah. Which is... <laughs> A little bit annoying, isn't it? It's a shame about that. So, they might be repairable, uh, but it might need a couple of wings. Yeah. And uh, the wheels aren't in great nick. So they could do being repaired as well, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah. So, what's your motive? Why, how come are you selling it? So, I've actually got a baby on the way. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, so congratulations. That's fight, amazing, though. man. Yeah, thank you. Is it your first baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's amazing. When's it due? September. Do you know what you're having yet? No, 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 yeah. So, you, have you got, is it like the 20... 20 weeks down, that's what's coming up next. 20 now, weeks yeah. down's coming yeah. up soon? It's 15 weeks down, yeah. Wow, that's amazing, man. I'll crack it. <laughs> Congratulations, that's brilliant. So, you're selling your car. Obviously, it's a, it's a three door car, so I'm guessing yeah. you're going to look for something five door. Five yeah. door, yeah? yeah? Amazing. You're also a subscriber of the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh man, no pressure, Cal. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so I've not yet driven the car. Does it drive all right? Yeah, it drives fine, yeah. Drives all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a wicked car. Like, I do love, obviously, I love golfs in general. It's a Golf yeah. GTI, it's a performance pack car as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which so they've got a bit, couple more options over a normal car, yeah. haven't they? LSD things like that. LSD, that is massive, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's yeah. actually, what a massive feature yeah. to have on a Golf Especially GTI. Especially a front wheel drive car, isn't it? I think usual stuff, we need to go for driving it. I've not driven yeah. it yet. We've done all the, like, the HPI and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll go for driving it. We've pretty much agreed a figure. We'll talk yeah. more on that in the car. Yeah, yeah. And if it drives all right, then I'm, I'm happy to go ahead. So yeah, yeah. Let's, um, let's go see what it drives like, yeah? Yeah. Right there. This is it. This is it, a big test drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a manual gearbox car as well. Yeah. Sounds good. Is it completely stock, is it? It's got a res to leave us. Oh, really? It sounds quite quiet, doesn't it? I'm sure it sounds all right once we get on the move. Got loads of fuel in it as well. <laughs> it's got heated seats as well, that's good. You know, let's quickly, actually, let's see that. Let's have a little look at the spec list on HPI, see if anything comes up. Back in 2017, 
Yeah, so that's how it's like a cat D, isn't it? Because that's before it changed. Before they changed yeah. to N and S, didn't they? So like I did iPod personally on the ad when I said cat N because some people don't realise that they that this changed again. Yeah, yeah, just like yeah. yeah. This all sort of they change it from non structural like, to structural, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Rather than D D and C, which yeah. just people didn't really get. Uh, plate transfer had previously said he had a private plate apparently. Yeah. Was that your plate, was it? No, that was no one I showed you the pictures on here, right? Yeah. He had a plate on it, he did. Do you know what, you have to send me them pictures because it looks yeah, quite yeah. cool, doesn't it? Yeah. On it how it used to look. So it was categorised at that point then, wasn't yeah. it? So someone cherished and loved this car. Yeah. Uh, so the previous owner to me is who I think, you know, you put on here, right? Mm. You no, know, he really did love the car. Like yeah, that. yeah, because he spent quite a bit of money on it, didn't he? Four former keepers, uh, spec check. There isn't any, it doesn't show any spec on it, annoyingly, so that's pretty pointless. Not Mileage is all correct, though. Uh, obviously, we saw that on the car vertical check as well. Yeah. What's it done? 91,000 miles. There you go, 91,300. And then if we have a quick look at the car vertical check, you'll see again, it's been an accident. This vehicle was damaged. And then you see a whole timeline of events from the day the car was new, with the most recent event there being the MOT in January. Then we've, if we look at the mileage, you'll see that the graph is consistent, showing the mileage is all good. And then if we scroll down to the damage, you'll see that it says they're category D write-off and the damage record was back in August 2017. Obviously, I will link our vertical in the description below. If you want to use my code CCD on checkout, you get a little discount. This HPI app that I use, this is a trade only app. Um, you can do a HPI check as well, of course, uh, but car vertical will just do a little bit more detail for you, all right? So I will link them in the description below. So, um, right, Corin, let's go see what this thing drives like, yeah? yeah? Oh, values. We haven't talked about values. Let me just quickly do a, a valuation check because obviously the car's categorized. That will affect the value of the car. Um, so we go to Enter Reg. So for those that are new, Enter Reg is my car trading platform that is now available to, for other car traders to use. We've got loads of traders on board, which is brilliant. If you're a car dealer and you want to get on board with this platform, I will link EnterReg.com in the description below. Uh, basically, it's just an all-in-one platform for car traders to use, and you can do trade-to-trade -trade stuff on there as well. All right. So uh, I say that trade-to-trade, -trade, advertising, loads of stuff. Go check it out. Uh, but this here is a valuation on this car. We use Cap and Auto Trader. Uh, the retail value. According to Cap and Auto Trader, uh, Cap says 11,395 and Auto Trader says 12,300 pounds, but obviously it's categorized. So the thing with categorized cars is, I don't know if you looked at categorized cars, did you intend on buy a, buying a categorized car? Was How did it come back so to you? So my previous Golf R was actually Cat N as well. Oh really? So, yeah. And you bought a Cat N car pr probably to save money, I guess. Yeah. So it's bit, some people look at it as a bad, and I know some, it's a positive, no, it's slightly cheaper. And I would never personally buy a Cat S. But okay. that's just me. Yeah, that's just you. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Structural, but cat then, I think, no, it's minor damage, isn't it? Yeah, it's minor damage. Cat N is obviously non-structural. So, yeah, that's fair enough. So, so um, the the condition, so if you look at cat valuation there, the below average is 7675. That's with it being HPI clear car. And Auto Trader says 9389, so they're miles apart. Yeah. Um, so, so when I actually went through Enter Edge as well, mm -hmm. I had a valuation of 9.4. 9.4, so they're yeah. showing cap clean then. So that would be on the assumption that it's in amazing condition. And HPI clear. Yeah. And HPI clear. Yeah, yeah. So, which is which is bang on, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so considering the condition, we'd knock it down a bit and then knock it down a bit further because it's categorised. Yeah. And then knock it down a bit further if it doesn't drive it right, which we're about to find <laughs> out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, take it from there, basically. I do like them, though. They look wicked, don't they? Yeah, they are really nice looking cars, though. I think is that a fault with parking sensors? So what, what's now? So it'll, ju it'll just say that, but if it go and it'll go now, it just it's, it's all right now, yeah? yeah, yeah. So it's definitely had a front end then, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a one hundred. And I, I like I noticed when you look to it, you can kind of like you roughly you know, but if, it, if it's no pictures on like a HBI check, and you never really know for definite. No, 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 exactly that. It's not. It's not bad at all. It doesn't, nothing really stands out. It's got loads of little bits on it. Yeah. I think it needs to go in the body shop. Um, needs a, needs quite a look. It just it needs a bit of TLC. It needs going over, doesn't it? I yeah, think yeah. We can get it to VRS, get them to look over it mechanically, and then maybe get it into a body shop and get all the, the bits done. Yeah. I think the idea for me, so I mentioned to you, which you wouldn't have seen yet on the channel because it wouldn't have gone live yet, yeah. is um, I'm doing this Calvin's car dealership thing where we're buying and selling cars, showing everyone the process of buying cars, yeah. buying cars from subscribers like you, mate, yeah, yeah. and you know, showing everyone the process, buying them, prepping them, selling them. Yeah. And the aim of this one is, look, I suppose, can we make money out of a categorized car? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know the answer. It, it all varies, really, yeah, because yeah. you can definitely earn money out of categorized cars. Of course, you bloody can. You can earn money out of everything. Everything, yeah. But it is all about. Yeah, 
one by him, right? <laughs> so I don't know if you did as well, but you know, my girl, who we were talking about earlier, he's bought one of these, haven't he? And that is something I've seen in his video too. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah, that's... It is something I can't do on his post to find out because it's quite annoying sometimes. But that he doesn't is... do it all the time. Okay, so, so his car actually does that as well. That's ex it's done the same thing in the video. Yeah, yeah, because that's how this kind of come about. So I, I done a post uh, for so Michael Shoeblacker was after a, a Golf GTI, specifically a performance because he wanted an LSD yeah, yeah. for a project car and also manual. He wanted, he wanted a manual as well, and I got ab offered absolutely loads. He actually ended up buying one from someone local up because he lives up in Manchester. Yeah, yeah local to him, yeah. local to him. And um, yeah, which is why you sort of stepped forward and offered this car yeah. at the same time, didn't you? It would have been perfect for him. Yeah, I did literally message, but obviously you get so many messages. Mate, yeah, yeah. I know, sorry obviously man. I understand. Yeah, yeah, but it's wicked that you've managed to sort yeah. of push your way through and you're here today. Yeah, so when I, so I seen on your Instagram that you put Enter Reg and I thought, no, it's worth a go. Yeah. And we're here today. And here you are, yeah. So let's talk about you, man. So what do you do for work? So I'm labour for my father, I do labour. Well, oh really, what, on the building site? No, he um, renovates houses, he does. Oh, right, so he buys and sells houses. It's like a company works for it. Oh, so. wicked. So you get really that hands-on, stuck in. Yeah, it's of. good. But it's quite a, since like COVID, as you come out, it's quite a, it's quieting down slightly. Like it used to be, you do an house straight into another. Yeah, Whereas now yeah. it's like, it's not so uh, no, fast as it used to be. Yeah, yeah, things are slowed down. I think on the property front, definitely. I think the used car world seems to be, from my point of view, it seems to be still manic busy. Yeah, but yeah. today's a Saturday, you see how many cars are yeah, yeah. it's mental. Um, but yeah, property is definitely a bit of a, it's a funny time. Mortgages, interest rates, it's affecting uh, the whole property market, isn't it? But that's good, it's good yeah. that you're keeping in a job, and your dad as well. And obviously you've got the little one on the way, so it's a, it's a big time of life for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. How old are you then? 22. 22, and you've got a little one on the way, that's yeah. amazing. Are you hoping to have a boy or a girl? You're not fast, or you're not fast, but I think every boy wants a boy. <laughs> yeah, it's cool having a boy. <laughs> Wicked having a boy. I know it's the indicators are bleak, blinking faster than normal, wouldn't they? Mm, I know what you mean. It sounds really fast, doesn't it? They both, they're both doing it. Like, again, that's just show, indicating to them, indicating that um, the front end is definitely had a front end in it. Yeah. And it kind of does concern me a little bit because I know when we get this to VRS. Will's gonna, I'm gonna get that call from Will and he's gonna be like, Calvin, this car is <laughs> an absolute piece of <laughs> But it might be all right, I'm hoping it's all right, yeah? Uh, and I get, from your point of view, you need to get what you need to get for it. Yeah. I can't, you know, there's there's a benchmark there. And I think it's fair money in it for the, it's cat and four months. I think it'd be one of the cheapest on the net, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, Even definitely. For four months, though. And had you considered, just give it a little, oh, it's pulling really well. Clutch is good as well, because there's, Quite weak clutches on these, but yeah. seems like golf R's and they when they manual. Yeah. When it comes to pre man stuff, clutches. Clutches golf just R's. give up on golf yeah. R's, they actually do. It's driving straight as well, there's no no horrible noises or wobbles or bangs, it's, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's talk about money then. So uh how much was you hoping to get for it? Eight but what was your your expect? You was hoping to get eight thousand and then we sort of talked to I've basically said, look, it needs quite a bit of TLC, yeah, yeah. and I've hit you with seven thousand pounds. Like, yeah, yeah. At eight thousand pounds, for me to buy this car, get it prepped to a decent standard, and sell it and try and earn money. Yeah. Um, it's fair, isn't it? The offer you've given me is fair for what you need to spend on the car. Yeah. You know, yeah. When the car is ready for sale, then maybe you will be at eight thousand in the car. Exactly that. If you you could go away and get it all done, and I'll give you eight thousand pounds for yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's an option. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I suppose for you. Private sellers generally just want convenience. They just want to get the car gone so yeah. they can move on to the next one. So you, you're intending on, um, by the way, I think I'm happy with that. Like, let's go back to that, 7,000 pounds. I'm happy with that, let's shake hands on that. That's a definitely a deal done. Yeah. And um, for me, yeah, I'll go away, get it all prepped up. Hopefully there's no horror stories of it. No doubt there probably is, because it is a cat of car and we don't actually know what, yeah. <laughs> what sort of accident it's been in. But it has actually had the thing as well, like, on these engines, it's common for the wall pump phone to start out into leaking. Mm -hmm. okay. I've had that done. You've had that done yeah. as well, yeah? Within, no, a thousand miles ago. Okay, that's Which good. It's a pretty big job as well, to be fair. Oh, that's good. And history, service history, is it all up to date? Um, so, I'm guessing by looking at it, when this was obviously rolled off and it went into like an auction, mm -hmm. the owner at the time must not have given like the service box and stuff. So, whoever then bought from auction, I've started a buckler from then to now, so, so it's now. like it's got a full history from I think 
it's about 50 odd or 60 thousand. Okay. Uh, might be a bit later, actually. Do you know what it's, it, Yeah, so. It's so it's like part history. history isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's annoying. It is a bit annoying about the history. Yeah. But it's it's quite a normal thing with categorised cars that yeah. they, people lose history. So because um, their cars generally get crashed, they get recovered from the side of the road, and then they the, don't really get the chance. The previous yeah. owner, yeah, gets paid out, yeah, and that's it. Mm. So usually, as well, they usually only have one key. If you've got a spare key, two keys, yeah. you've got two keys. Yeah. That's wicked. Okay, that's brilliant. Cool. Well, yeah, I'm think I'm happy, mate. It's um, it's all good. It's got Bluetooth as well. By the looks of things. Does it have DAB? Yeah, it does have DAB. It's brilliant. I didn't get the traction control off. I want to feel that dip. It's like if you're going into it, but you definitely do feel it. You feel it sort of yeah. tugged, didn't you? I like that. Yeah, on the straight, you don't feel it so much, no, do you? No, no. But it, it also helps it grip too. Yeah, not just yeah. spin the one wheel like. What a massive feature to have on a on a run-of-the-mill sports hatch. It's wicked, isn't it? They just don't come with them. No. Really tug in there, yes. it's just so nice, isn't it? Wicked. Well, yeah, I'm happy, man. I'm so hopefully it'll be an interesting journey for the channel as well to see yeah. like what's wrong with it, what's right with it. What's it'll be a good series? One, it's it? going to be a good series, it's going to make a wicked series. It's a car that I know a lot of people are interested in. It's an entry level, low budget car to try and get a, a Mark 7. I mean, and I think that's worth pointing out. It's a Mark 7 Golf GTI, yeah, and it's less than 10,000 pounds. But the resale value of it, I would say, is probably about ten thousand yeah. pounds. Um, but, but it does need, uh, it could need a hell of a lot of work in the meantime. So we'll see. Cool. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, head back to Bink and now do the paperwork, do payment as well. Get some money in your bank, then you can head back to Wales. But thanks again for coming down, mate. Appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate and uh, you as well. thank you, man. So after the test drive, me and Corin headed back to the office and there's three things left to do. Firstly, the invoice. We of course use Enter Reg to do the invoice, which will add the Golf GTI to the Calvin's car dealership stock list. Corin can sign online, then it will create an invoice, which we can email direct to the customer. By the way, the car's got a nice little folder of history and it's got an MOT until January next year. And if you take a quick look at the MOT history, you'll see that it passed with no advisories. The payments are £7,000 instant bank transfer straight to Corin. Another job done. And then finally, we do the V5. Obviously, that goes into our trade name, not into a personal name, which means it doesn't add another keeper to the logbook. You can see currently it's showing four former keepers. And then, of course, when we sell the car, it will go into the new keeper's name, adding an additional keeper to the V5. So that's another bit of stock added to our stock list at Calvin's car dealership, along with the Audi TT. Our little empty unit is now finally starting to look like a proper little car dealership. The total stock value now is £11,300. It'd be interesting to see how we get on trying to earn a profit out of a categorised Golf GTI performance. Make sure you hit subscribe to follow the journey, hit like if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.